<laughs> and we're back in black. The knowledge, the knowledge is free podcast is back in your motherfucking face. Ah, damn. What's going on, y'all? <clears throat> you know, I had to come back today and clear that motherfucking throat. Finally getting over these goddamn sinuses and bullshit. You know, motherfucker had the day off and shit. About time, goddamn. Yeah, I got a job. I'm telling you, I got to say that shit. Man, I ain't just sitting around the house with my thumb in my ass, figuring out what I'm going to do. Man. And anyway, if I did sit around with my thumb in my ass, that's my prerogative. Shit, I'm Bobby Brown. Not y'all. Motherfuckers. <laughs> but nah. Hey, man, this is the Knowledge is Free podcast, man. I'm coming to you straight from the motherfucking crib. Thought I'd hit y'all up with some. So when y'all listen to this today, tomorrow, the next day, in the morning, at night, whenever the fuck y'all listen to this, I just want you to sit back and listen to what the fuck I'm talking about. And that's some real shit. Anyway, man, my weekend was was good, great, whatever the fuck you want to call it. It's coming to a motherfucking end. But uh, let's 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 just get. I hate to get back on this topic, man, but we got to get back on your boy Brett Kavanaugh. We got to get back on your boy Kavanaugh because it's like, what did I tell y'all? While we worried about bullshit, that motherfucker is now an associate Supreme Court justice. <laughs> or whatever the fuck they call it these days. Because Donald Trump is his boy. I don't understand why people think any differently. Because <laughs> I know I don't. We have to understand what the fuck is at stake. We got to understand what life is about. We, we 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 have to understand this too that this is these are their rules not ours and, and and with that being said motherfuckers gotta quit putting your energy into that type of shit to the, the point where you getting upset and you don't know how to function y'all y'all saw how brett kavanaugh acted <laughs> when they was questioning his ass that motherfucker was like how dare y'all motherfuckers question me i'm caucasian and if they are questioning him, let's just go through the robes and question him and pretend like we're going to do something to have an FBI investigation when in actuality they not. But Bill Cosby's black ass is going to jail, though. <laughs> That's the shit that trips me out. Oh, it was so long ago. I was drinking and all that, had all these problems, but it was so long ago. That's what Brett Kavanaugh was saying. But Bill Cosby, they don't give a fuck if it was 80 years ago. They don't give a fuck if, if you was fucking with a bitch when you was 10. <laughs> nigga guilty nigga <laughs> that's how they gonna do you and that's how, that's how it's always gonna be man y'all uh, hey everybody better wake up and understand this shit caucasian rules do not apply to black people caucasian rules apply to caucasians <laughs> we have different set of rules and don't y'all motherfuckers forget it and it's so funny because I, I even want to talk about that today Let's get on it real quick. Let's get on Colin Powell's clown ass. Now you want to come out and be saying all this, saying all this bullshit about Kavanaugh and Trump and all that. But let's not forget, ladies and gentlemen, Colin Powell was a part of the Bush administration. It wasn't like you was in there politicking for black people. Sent us to that motherfucking war that didn't even, what did we get out of that? Not a goddamn thing. We going to Iraq, but uh, oppose, uh, 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 Allegedly, let's just say that, pro-allegedly, uh, Osama bin Laden was in Afghanistan. Motherfuckers don't even get it. Osama bin Laden was a CIA informant. He worked for the CIA. All these killers and all these people that y'all want to go fight, these people were once working for us. And I wonder why they turned on us. Remember, Caucasian rules do not apply to black people. Caucasian rules apply to Caucasians. So while your boy Brett Kavanaugh got mad and got upset and got all pissed off and was like, fuck y'all. And hell no, we ain't doing no goddamn FBI investigation. Ain't no need to get mad. Y'all just need to look at what it is. That's why on the on a couple of podcasts that I did, I kept saying, we need to stop going hard on each other in front of these white people thinking that we gonna get a butter biscuit and, and, and some, some nigga snacks. Not Scooby snacks, but nigga snacks. That's what we think and a pat on the head. We gotta stop acting like that, man. You know what I'm saying? We, we, this, this, we gotta, we gotta wake up, ladies and gentlemen. We have to understand this too, that it is not 
our job or our place to think that we should be so invested in who they put into the Supreme Court justice. And I'm talking about in terms of having a, 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 a fucked up day, like, oh, I can't believe he got it. Of course he was gonna get it. He's a Caucasian. Don't go spouting the, any nigga that wanna go spouting the Constitution, go ahead, you can spout the Constitution all you want. But remember, the Constitution was written by white supremacists. <laughs> so you can spout that shit all you fucking want. And I'm not saying that's not good to know the law because you can know the law because they are loopholes in the law. You know what I mean? Especially for people that want to be sovereign and don't want to be a part of the system. I understand that. But remember this. Don't put your faith so much in people that don't give a fuck about you. There's a, a track record with these people and how they have treated melanated people and people of different races, especially melanated people. They have a track record. Let's just go back the last 450 years. Motherfuckers don't want to talk about that, though. So when you see a person like uh, Donald Trump uh, and what's his name, Kavanaugh, that shouldn't surprise you. What should surprise you is people like Colin Powell coming out talking about all this bullshit and this nonsense. Remember, why the fuck, what does it matter what Colin Powell says? Clown, you was a part of the fucking Bush administration. And we already know what the Bush is about. Them motherfuckers is about oil and they motherfucking money. They don't give a flying fuck about anybody else but the people that's in their circle. And don't think that uh, Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton ain't no different. They the same. <laughs> Remember that. We gotta. We have to understand. Stop waiting for the time where people are watching to start speaking up. Notice those people and watch those people. See, I've been around people like that. They want to wait till it's a crowd or wait till it's the thing to do. Then they want to get out and speak. And, and they want like, oh, man, he spoke up. Remember, I'm going to always relate this to corporate America because I know the majority of people that listen to this shit work in corporate America. If you're around a whole bunch of people and they bitching and complaining about things, but they're not doers. And when I mean doers, like taking on action, they just want to bitch and complain. Get the fuck away from them because they just want to take that energy that they have and transfer it on to you and then they going about their way and now you are mad because you fight they fight remember that all these women all these white women talking about oh man i can't believe brett kavanaugh's <laughs> oh my god the majority of these white women voted for donald trump look at donald trump's rallies you don't just see white men out there you see a lot of caucasian women out there too and a sprinkle of coons too. <laughs> Matter of fact, it shouldn't be no black people voting for either side. Motherfuckers be loyal to some shit that ain't ever loyal to them. Oh, I'm a Democrat, I'm a Democrat. And what the fuck has the Democratic Party done for you and your people? I'm not talking about you individually. Oh, I'm a business owner, so they passed this law. So see, motherfuckers always wanna, they wanna segregate it to individuality. Because in a system of capitalism, there is no such thing as team. It's all cutthroat and it's who's gonna get to the top and who, who how many heads are you gonna step on and how many backs are you gonna stab to get to that motherfucker? Remember that. That is what capitalism is about. Capitalism affects your relationships and who you with. Yeah, it does you like hire? Yes, it does. That's why the majority of our sisters <laughs> and women period be looking at how much money you got and where can you take them to go eat. And for all you Las Vegans who live in Las Vegas, these women want you to take them to laundries, or Landry's, Surf and Turf, Benny Hanna's, you know, Yard House, Lazy Dogs, one of these motherfucking places. They don't want you taking them to no motherfucking Chick-fil-A. Take a woman, take a bitch to Chick-fil-A and see how much she talk about your ass on social media. She ain't gonna call you back and she ain't gonna say your name, but she gonna be like, oh no, this motherfucker didn't take me to Chick-fil-A, or Taco Bell, or Chipotle. Shit, I'm trying to go. These women don't even wanna go to Applebee's and Chili's. That's played out for them. <laughs> and because that's what capitalism does. It, it, it creates a, what can you do for me versus what I can do for myself. So, as my mom used to always say, fair exchange is no robbery. And that's exactly what capitalism creates. So when you look at the Donald Trumps, the Kavanaugh's, the Bill Cosby's, all of them, 
you have to understand too, there's a racial racial issue and then there's a class issue. See, Bill, Clos Bill Cosby was in a certain class where he can get away with a lot of shit for a long time. Plus, he was non-threatening to Caucasians. Remember that. When you are non-threatening, oh, you gonna go far. <laughs> No diss, to, no diss to no other melanated brothers and sisters, especially motherfuckers like Colin Powell. Nigga, you was right next to George Bush. You should have tried to you should have tried to change some shit, but of course you can't. You have no power. So it's very convenient for niggas and people to come out the woodwork and start talking shit about the Republican Party and all this other shit. But look at how many people was out there voting for Donald Trump. And while y'all niggas out there voting for Donald Trump and pissed off and all mad about it and all this other shit, you need to take it. And look at it, observe it, and leave it alone. Because while we sitting up here being angry about shit that don't matter, Nevada Power getting ready to go up. Southwest Gas is getting ready to go up. I'm speaking to Las Vegas people that live in Las Vegas. Rent is about to go up. All this other shit about to go up. I'll keep saying it over and over again. Motherfuckers so worried about the Raiders. We going to see how much these niggas going to be worried about the Raiders when they implement a state tax. When, when when there's a regional tax and I, <laughs> and all these other bullshit taxes that LA got and now they're going to have them out here. These are the blood suckers of the poor. But so many people feel like, oh, no, nah, not me. Oh, it ain't going to affect me. Shit. Everybody that works in the United States of America is one paycheck away from being homeless. If you're like, no, I got a couple. Of, okay, then you a couple of checks away from being homeless. But you're going to end up sleeping on somebody's couch or living with somebody else if you lose that fucking job. Because ain't nobody making enough money like that because capitalism is not that way. Capitalism is not meant for you to make so much money where you never have to work again. No, it's meant to draw you in so you can keep coming back to that system. <laughs> That's what it's about. That's why people like, um, let's see, Colin Powell, man, please. He done, got, he done acquired so many resources from being a part of Bush's crew. When he comes out and says things, that's theater. All these Caucasians that's speaking out against Donald Trump and Kavanaugh, that is all theater. Don't even get involved in that shit. You just need to learn from that and say, damn, they crucified Bill Cosby, but this motherfucker was lightweight doing the same type shit. And his ass about to be a su Supreme Court judge. And Bill Cosby, black ass, is going to prison. That's what you need to take out of it. Motherfuckers always want to talk this. Oh, it ain't about race. It ain't about race. Man, please. It's going to always be about race. And then it's going to always be about class and money. you like, what you mean? Because it does not matter how much money you have. This is not your system. And somebody has allowed you to move as far as you've moved. So when you look at these motherfuckers, with the exception of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, when you look at these black figures that are in these positions of power and, and they, you know, they're so eager to speak out on other black people, but they won't speak up on the system of white supremacy. Watch them <laughs> and, and see exactly what they about. And don't diss them. You know, you could just be like, OK, why are they acting like that? <laughs> you know what I mean? What, what, why, why is it always easy to go? at your fellow brother or sister but you don't want to go at them because we are programmed to go at each other not anybody else we are programmed to go against our own for them and then all they gonna do is laugh at you trust me i know i've been there and i don't give a fuck who listens to this shit it's the real it's true and they'll let you go against your own people and then job well done for you and then they want you to then all right now get the fuck out of my way and they gonna wave you off like you a fucking dog or an animal. I don't give a fuck about you. And then come review time, they gonna give you 10 cents. <laughs> and also we get to all you uh, corporate America motherfucking job having motherfuckers. Cause every, the majority of people that listen to this work for a corporation. Hopefully there is some entrepreneurs. If you're an entrepreneur, right on. Much props to you, holla at me. Cause I need that type of inspiration. Cause it is it, beautiful to work for yourself. I see a lot of people that work for themselves and they have a sense of pride. And you don't have to worry about <laughs> you have to worry about a motherfucker, you know, denying you your vacation and, and telling you when you want to come in and doing all this other bullshit. Because a lot of these people that work at these corporate America jobs, they don't have no fucking lives. And I, and the majority of them are fucking racist. And I don't give a fuck what they say or what they do. 
<laughs> was I can't be racist. My best friend's black, Tyrone. <laughs> you know, my my sister's best friend is Shaquanda. <laughs> you know that part, that bullshit. I watch I watch uh, Basketball Wives, <laughs> so they just think that it's okay, and they got some type of black card. Like, oh, it's all good. Nah. Trust me. You good with white people on these corporate America jobs as long as you don't oppose a threat to them and try to outshine them. And that's when there's a problem. Remember what I am telling you. All you people that go to work at corporate America, get up and go to work. Try to outshine the master and see what happens. Over speak. Don't just grin and nod and speak your true opinion and see what the fuck happens. You will get slapped down like it's the slave days. Or they'll give you that rhetoric program that they've been running for the last 400 years. <laughs> oh, you have a future here. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The only future for black America is this. Entrepreneurship, working for yourself so you can report to yourself. So you don't have to be bothered with that bullshit. Because all it's going to do is frustrate you. You have to master the art of getting in the matrix and getting out. Because you have to understand, it's the only thing that's real about it is the paycheck. Everything else is falsified advertisement. These so-called friendships that you have at work and all that, this shit, it's, it's theater. Just like Donald Trump and Brett Kavanaugh and Bill Cosby and all that shit is theater with real consequences for melanated people. I'm not saying that Caucasians don't have real consequences, but I'll keep saying it over and over again. Most Caucasians are, are they're a, a, a t-shirt and tie away from being your supervisor. You can literally go to Las Vegas Boulevard in Owens, get a bum that's Caucasian, shave that person or that 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 man or woman up, clean them up, put a tie on them or a dress or something nice, put them in visual business uh, attire, <laughs> and there'll be somebody supervising. Matter of fact, they can be high out of their fucking mind. I mean, literally sweating in the wintertime type uh, type shit, and they'll be your supervisor. Cause that's the way it works. You have to understand what, what system you're in. I, you know, it took me a while to, to come to that conclusion. But after I started reading and having knowledge itself and reading books like the ISIS papers by Dr. Francis Quest Welsing and, and uh, the book by Neely Fuller Jr. and all these other books, Post-Traumatic Slave Syndrome by Dr. Joy DeGruy. Once I started reading those books and, and Anthony Browder's The Browder Files, once I started reading these books, it changed my whole fucking perspective. And it changed it for the better because I feel more empowered than I've ever felt in my life. I know that moving up that that corporate ladder, that is not for my people. That's what's not for my people. Because if you read the book called The Wealth Choice by Dennis Kimbrough, it clearly states that the majority of the, the African Americans or melanated people is what I call them, was moving up the corporate structure. They didn't like it because of the way they were getting fucking treated. So they ventured out and started their own fucking business. So stop thinking that you're a part of them because they want to go have a beer after work and or they they, they they pretend like they're invested in your personal life. These motherfuckers ain't invested in your personal life. They are they are reflection of these politicians like Donald Trump and Kavanaugh. So when you see a, a Caucasian like, oh, fuck Donald Trump and all that, OK, then why don't you give back some of your resources for the next melanated person since you don't like Donald Trump so bad? <laughs> and for and for all you motherfuckers that's listening to that Kanye West bullshit talking about slavery was a choice, then then since it was a choice, then I want every nigga across the United States of America to quit their jobs tomorrow and don't fucking go to work. And let's see how long that lasts. Since it was a choice, because you have a choice to go to work and you have a choice to stay your black ass at home. And what you gonna choose? Yeah, you gonna be just like them slaves, and I was gonna choose to go to work. As a matter of fact, you're going to convince other niggas to stay home so you can be the first one that works so you can get a pat on the head by the master. I know how you niggas work. You Sambo, Uncle Tom, Steven from Django telling about the gun line. Hey, we're shepherd ass niggas. Can't stand you motherfuckers. And if you are fucking cool, get the fuck away from me. I ain't into that shit at all. For real. And please don't be one of those type of motherfuckers that get around a whole bunch of Caucasians and get to talking shit about black people and trying to explain. Look, these Caucasians know I don't owe them shit. I don't owe you no explanation on nothing. You want to know about slavery? You want to know about all that? Get a fucking book and read it. 
Other than that, get the fuck out of my face with the bullshit. And see, that's the shit I don't like about people like Kanye West and Colin Powell and all these other motherfuckers. They be working for the system, and then once they get their nigga trinkets, now they want to turn around and slap us down and chastise us and talk shit to us, Bill Cosby. And then when these white people turn on you and turn that white privilege on you, like, nah, nigga, you're not one of us, then you want to be turn, you want to turn your head back around and see how many melanated people behind you. No, that's not how it works. Trust me. And if you don't trust me, get the books and go read them, motherfuckers. Hey, Amen. Knowledge of self is the best education you can ever have. Knowledge of self and knowledge of everybody else around you. And if these are unloyal, backbiting snakes, get them the fuck away from you. Do not take on the identity of other races. Take on your identity of your race. You can date outside your race all you want, but you take on your identity. And that person that's outside your race, they, they are supposed to take on your identity. Because in my opinion, black people are the supreme human beings. Ask Jimmy the Greek. <laughs> Google him. Google Jimmy the Greek. <laughs> Amen. You are the kings and queens of this earth. You are the gods. It's not a coincidence that you could jump higher, run higher, run, run, run faster, jump higher, all this other shit. You think that's you think that's just uh, just happen to happen? No, that's by design. Because we were the first people on this planet. And don't let no motherfucker tell you different. Because they quickly try to tell you that too. Oh, well, there were sightings of uh, some Caucasian bones from uh, <laughs> from 30,000 BC or some bullshit. Man, get the fuck out of here. These niggas stole geometry and all the other liberal arts. So I don't believe a goddamn thing that they say. And you like, how you figure that they stole it, Warren? Those ancient Egyptian pyramids predate all these other fucking races. And since Egypt and what you want to call it, Egypt Kemet was in Africa that's all I need to say we don't need sunscreen we've been kissed by the sun we are melanated we strong we powerful and we are geniuses and we are gods and don't let no motherfucker tell you different and do not seek their approval because they will not give it to you trust me I used to be one of those motherfuckers believe you me I used to be the bulletin of that oh they going that you know just don't matter how just work harder they gonna show you love just work harder because they going to show you love and they going to they gonna show you like, oh, yeah, 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 you are good. This is a good, these are good Negroes. No, they going to show you shit. They going to keep having you be the way that you are and running that same program because they don't give a flying fuck about your black ass. And don't forget that shit. <laughs> but, hey, man, I wanted to drop a little bit of knowledge on y'all for free. This is the Knowledge is Free podcast. I appreciate it. All the listeners, please share this page with any coon or sambo you know, because there's plenty of them out there. God damn. Share it with them motherfuckers. Yeah, nigga, I'm talking to you. If you a coon or a sambo, you I'm talking to. And hey, and for all you niggas that's like I keep saying, borrowing your baby mama's car, going to the store, pretending like you getting some diapers, and you going to another bitch house and she got GPS on the car and on the phone, you already know what my saying is. Guilty, nigga. <laughs> hey, man. This warns you the place to be. Hey, knowledge is free. I'm out. Peace.